Hey guys, welcome back to Tour Reviews 51. This is review number 129. Uh, we're finishing up these Cool Props Alien uh, life-size head replicas. Uh, this is the Alien Warrior Blue Edition. Uh, this is just a shipper, still sealed as always. All my boxes are always sealed. Um, so you can see them the first time with me. Uh, so let's go ahead and get past the shipper box here, take a look at the artwork, then get straight to the life-size head replica of the Alien Warrior. This is actually the blue edition. I did a video on the regular Alien Warrior uh, about two or three videos ago, so if you want to check that out, go ahead and move back a few videos on my channel, check it out. But let's go ahead and get back to this and see this artwork box. Okay, guys, just crocked it out of the shipper, and pretty sweet art box. I mean, can't complain. High gloss is all the other ones. Uh, actually finishing these out, so pretty happy to get through these. Aliens. Alien Warrior, life-size head prop replica, blue edition. So you see there, we'll be putting together. It's going to resemble a lot of the Alien Warrior that we already did. But with a little bit of blue on it. Side of the box. And the back, which is a better portrayal of the actual uh, statue here. Life-size head replica. Production team. And Sideshow and Cool Props are pleased to present the Alien War Blue Edition life-size head prop replica. The Alien War is part of dozens of aliens that were propagated from the Alien Queen in 1986 movie Aliens. Alien Warriors appeared many times in the movie, but only a few suits were made for shooting. So, let's go ahead and get to the meet and grave again. Take a look at the actual statue. Then we'll put it on display with the other three. Take a look at the full case display. And we'll close this video out. Next video will be the Hulkbuster that everybody's been waiting for for about two years. Uh, came in today. It's actually the 7th of December recording these videos. So let's go ahead and get straight to it and check this out. Okay, real quick, as always, here's the bottom of the base. Uh, pretty simple. The only thing I have a complaint about, to be honest, now that I think about it, is if it's going to be an addition size, why don't you number it? Because you don't know how many you're going to sell, probably. So that's what my guess is. So there we have it. Aliens. Trademark, Alien Warrior. This is just the base. It's a wood base. Uh, just like the last one, everything's going to work the same. There's two wood blocks that go, one, each, one that goes in each side here. Holds the actual replica. Uh, here it is. has a lot more blue to it than I anticipated. So we're going to go ahead and put it together and take a look at it now. Okay, guys. So just fully assembled this. Came out pretty dang good. I'm, I'm not going to complain about it at all. Uh, as always, we have the plaque here. The blue edition, life-size replica number nine. Uh, however many they decide to put out. Uh, the blue really pops on this. As you guys can see here. Uh, they did the basic web right here. Which is super fragile. So be careful with that if you order this. You don't really want to tug on it. Uh, the teeth are pretty cool. I mean they do a really good job. I can't complain. Whatever shade they use of paint on these teeth. They do a really good job. And as you can see the inner teeth right in here. So they didn't cut any corners. So I really like it. Um, I probably don't like it as much as the original Alien Warriors. If I had to pick between the blue or the original, definitely going to go the original. But I'm super happy to have the piece. So, when they came out, I just went complete. Com I mean, I just went stupid, and I ordered every one. Uh, I do notice that they just put out a Geiger Alien uh, statue today, as well as the Geiger, uh, or uh, actually the, the Geiger Alien head replica by Cool Props, both of them. So Cool Props makes some really good stuff. I've really been into the Cool Props and Prime 1 stuff lately. Um, so let's go ahead and go around this in better detail. Uh, the paint's really good. The spike's on top. Get out a little bit so we can see it better. I mean, the paint, they did an okay like shade of, of paint right here. Uh, these turned out really good. I like how they did that. And... But of course, you know, the, the best part is always going to be the front, the face, in my opinion. That's what most people are going to pay attention to. So, right there, I mean, no complaints at all. Uh, I'm not disappointed, but I'm not like super stoked about it. But I'm happy to have the piece. It's going to go really good with my collection. Um, so we'll go over it one more time, then I'll put it in the display cabinet. We'll take a look at all four pieces to close out these head replicas. And then on the next video, of course, it will be the Hulkbuster. So I know a lot of people are probably anticipating seeing how that turns out. I know I am. came in a freaking mega box. So I know it might take a little bit of work to put that together. But for right now, this Blue Edition Alien Warrior. Pretty freaking lit, bro. It's 
especially like it ain't as lit as my 1980s turntable but yeah i freaking like it i mean pretty dope but yeah let's go ahead we'll put it on display now that you guys have seen it then we'll close this video out trying to keep these under seven or eight minutes so let's go ahead and put it in the display case go over the the other three as well as this one in particular a little bit better and we'll close the video out for review number 129 let's check it out with the other ones okay guys the alien warrior head replica display is on it's freaking lit look at this now i'd like to get your guys comments does the moss go good or should i take it out what do you guys think let me know in the comments but as we did right here the alien warrior blue edition is what this video is all about freaking sweet look at that this is dope the more it's on display now i can appreciate it a little bit more but yeah freaking like it there's the plaque review before this i just did this uh dog alien right here it's excuse my unpainted board right there i know it's kind of tacky i just haven't painted it yet uh but yeah it's freaking dope man i like that one um i'm gonna move over here close this glass and go ahead and close out with these right here, which is the newborn right there. That's a really nice piece. And then the first one I did, the Alien Warrior. This isn't the blue one, of course. Unless you're colorblind, you'll know that. Uh, but yeah, Alien Warrior Life Size Head Replica. This is number 166. Pretty freaking sweet. I think, I think it makes a dope display. I mean, if you guys just check that out. I made these shelves just enough, just enough height to fit to fit these in. Uh, of course, I just went up the product details, gave myself a you know a little bit of lead way. Um, but you know, I didn't expect and that newborn is freaking massive, as you can tell compared to these other ones. Uh, but it makes a really good display. I'm gonna pull back a little bit and let you guys see this. I haven't done a, a tour yet, mainly because of the fact that I have about 80 pieces that I haven't went through, displayed or anything like that. And this isn't where I'm gonna be at on my predator case um but to give you guys a quick look i'll just show you guys real quick uh i did a little bit of ivy around the top have some posters in the background um uh, but yeah i think it's going to turn out really nice uh move down right here and just kind of show you guys what i have i mean this isn't near what i only have on alien and predator i mean this is just some that i've decided to put on display uh if you haven't looked back that's the alien derelict ship Got that through Hollywood Collectibles groups. So that's really dope. Uh, check out the video on that. And then down here, I just basically have a few 1-6 scales, the mass, life-size spear, a uh, cheap little skull I got off eBay there. Uh, just did a little, you know, custom displays. Got some, like, freaking bird nests and stuff and put rocks in it. Just made it just a little bit different. Um, City Hunter, Elder Predator. But as you guys can see there, uh, got a little bit of work to do as far as display, making it just like I wanted it. Um, but yeah, there's a lot more to do. Uh, got a ton. I probably have about 20 or 30 more Alien and Predator pieces that I haven't even opened yet. But yeah, guys, there it is. To close the video out, for review number 129, the Alien Warrior Blue Edition. This is what this video is about. So there it is. Hope you guys enjoyed this vid. Drop a like. Hit that sub button. Hit that little bell. It'll give you a notification when I post. I don't post a whole bunch. But when I do, whatever it is, it's pretty freaking lit, to be honest. Uh, buy some pretty dope stuff as far as sideshow hot toys. Uh, statues and figures, basically. Sometimes I've been doing these box breaks, too. Like baseball cards, football cards. Uh, just kind of a different market, but something else that I'm into. So if you're into that kind of stuff, check it out. I did a 1K box break last week, so... Just look back on my channel, you'll see that. It has some pretty tight hits. So, alright guys, appreciate you all watching. Until next time, uh, on the next vid, look, be on the lookout. I'll be doing review number 130. It'll be the uh, Hot Toys Hulkbuster, the new one that was just released that everybody's been waiting on. I've been waiting on it for like two years. It's been like delayed ten times. So, yeah, we'll be on that next. So, alright guys, appreciate, appreciate you all watching. Toy Reviews 51, review number 129, peace out.